What's going on guys? Auto Aiden here, your Alberta car guy. Getting you a video here of the uh, infamous 2024 three quarter ton Chevy ZR2 Bison Edition. I've had a few requests to do these trucks um, and I gotta say they're gotta be one of my personal favorites here. A um, little bit more elusive. You don't really see too many of them on the road and there genuinely isn't much allocation from the manufacturer for these trucks. It is a $10,000 option to upgrade to a Bison as opposed to a ZR2. You cannot convert an existing ZR2 to a Bison edition. So they are very unique and special. I've seen this in the Colorado in the past. You can also get a half ton ZR2. And with the new redesigned Colorados, you can also get a ZR2. So comes with the American Expedition vehicle front bumper. That's custom to these trucks, supplied at the manufacturer. It's got a bit of a rock guard finish to it. You will never see wear and tear on that bumper. Um, rock solid. It's got some tow hooks here that have quite a bit of a different design than your conventional ZR2. Um, different uh, fog lights there as well. You can see that AEV badge poking out on the front. You'll see lots of that as you walk around the truck. AEV black wheels, signature to these trucks. Has that lift from factory and the Multimatic DSSV. Suspension dampers make for a really great ride despite how insanely massive these trucks are. If you like to feel like the king of the road, there really isn't a whole lot more you can get without building your own truck here. See the Bison badging just on the side. And then getting into the rear here, black is my personal favorite for these Bison. And the only reason being it's the same thing for the half ton Bison Edition ZR2s. This little inlay here for the Multiflex tailgate is a matte black vinyl wrapped at the factory. Um, I love it on the black units because it kind of ties in with the matte finished bumpers. Um, those are not wrapped. They are, like I said, more of like a rock guard, um, kind of like an invincible material sort of thing. Uh, anyways, if you do happen to be looking at a white one of these, you'll have noticed that that inlay here on the multi-flex tailgate is actually a black vinyl. So you get a more of like a piano finish. You get like a two-tone, so black up top, white on the bottom, if that's how you wanted your truck built, or if you see one at a dealership. Personal preference, I like it on black. Get it all tied in really nicely with that matte finish. Here's a good look at the truck <clears throat> in the sunlight. There's those AEV wheels. Those are signature to the Bison Edition. Bit of a different design. Had a few people ask me as well, is there a difference on the interior? Yes, is it huge? No, keyless entry to hop in, same graystone interior to the ZR2s. Nice little kind of almost like a carbon fiber finish, but that's not how it's showed there. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. Has that uh, halo look to the interior. Um, looks like armor from the video game to me personally. Um, and this is the main difference there with the interior. AEV stamp on the headrest. Looks freaking awesome. Um, this truck is jammed up with about every bit of technology you could. I don't think there's anything else you could have ordered this unit with. So we're going to Pop on in, if I can get up here. Wow, we're holding the camera. Okay, now, um, this unit in particular has got 36 kilometers on it. She's brand spanking new. Um, I'm gonna walk you around a little bit of what we got have, or what we have going on with the interior here. So, redesigned Chevy screen, that big display. So we're gonna start on this side here. Heads up display, auto four high, four low, two wheel drive. Of course, all the essentials. See the heads up display kind of poking out there on the uh, windshield. Sometimes it comes up for the camera, sometimes it does not. Here is that uh, redesigned LCD display screen. Um, I have this in my half ton 2024 and I just love it. You can customize this layout. So if you get bored of what you're looking at, you can shift that around. Um, I have this in a couple of other videos. Now getting onto the steering wheel here, this unit does have the adaptive cruise control, does have the heated steering wheel. Controls on the back of the steering wheel for your um, changing any sort of music or whatever on your phone into that screen. And then this side has the uh, toggles. So oh, there we go right there for the volume. Now that big screen is fantastic, really user friendly. Um, these cameras are unbelievable. I know I've touched on this in pretty well every video I've done of these trucks, um, but I can't say enough good things about them. That 360 camera in the front angle is huge. 
especially if you're getting out of like a half ton into a truck, you've never had an HD truck and you find yourself in the market for spending 125 grand on a absolute off-road machine. These will make it that much easier to make sure you're not bumping up that uh, front end. I can't imagine if you got in an accident, how long you'd be waiting for one of those bumpers to be replaced. So good to be careful with it. Um, this gives you an angle on the two front tires and the rear. Um, if you're backing up, especially for buying something like this, hopefully you're doing some sort of off-roading with it or at least camping. That way you don't uh, end up going over any stumps or anything crazy. Um, just makes it that much easier. Now, this one's got the diesel exhaust brake that has been updated for 2024 for the HDs. It's a lot more effective, a little less noisy. If you have found that in your truck, that is why. Um, trailer, or uh, sorry, uh, lane mitigation as a part of the Chevrolet safety assist package. Parking sensors on the rear, not on the back. I've had a few of you comment on my last videos. Uh, no, there are not parking sensors available on the front end for these trucks. Why, I don't know. I could probably find out. Um, tailgate you can release from here. This is your no-go button if something's going wrong. Uh, this is your traction control. Let all the windows down with this button here. And then you can lock that uh, rear diff if you so desire. Now, these ZR2s have the uh, trailer gain controller there, vented seats, heated seats, dual climate zone controls. So you don't have to argue with the other half or a buddy. If somebody runs hot and somebody runs cold. See that beautiful gray stone interior with the yellow stitch. I've touched on this in the past videos for the half ton and the HDZR2 that just pops open right there. Really nice finish on this. Everything is leather, everything is soft touch. It feels very plush, very high end, which you'd expect for a truck like this. Has a full sunroof. Get into the glove box here. This little organizer pops right out. USB-C, USB. That closes up like a sole. I'm gonna get into the back here. Buy one of these trucks, I would advise getting some running boards as they are very tall. I don't happen to be too vertically challenged, but for those of you that are, might be a good idea. Um, now, a little bit of rear storage. These are great for ratchet straps, tow hooks, whatever you can fit in there. A lot of people love that. And some underneath the seat, under seat storage is what we call it. Um, back in there, this is your winter cover. You can still get those on these trucks. I know the half tons no longer have that ability even if you buy a three liter diesel so it's great to have that still the winter front uh, and this particular unit does have cup holders still mentioned it these uh these trucks still have that i know chevrolet and gmc if you're looking at a truck and for some reason a rear cup holder is absolutely essential i would definitely ask your salesperson and if that salesperson happens to be me i will tell you that it is in most trucks that are loaded right up like this um, if you get into like an rst half ton or some of the lighter load units you may find yourself without a cup holder in the rear. Now, heated seats for the back. Kids, friends, family, brothers, sisters, enemies, whoever's riding in your truck with you will love having that. For better or for worse. Also got some USB, USB port there and a USB-C. So again, any questions? Let me know what you guys think. Is it worth 10 grand? Again, you get that AEV front bumper, AEV rear bumper. You get the custom wheels as per AEV. You also get AEV badged rear headrest or headrests inside the interior. You get some AEV badging on your skid plates underneath the truck, which you may or may not ever look at. So let me know what you guys think. Is it worth it 10 grand? Bump you up to that 125 mark, 122, or is it better off to get one of these things on its own? Still plenty of capability. Have a great rest of your day. Happy family day again and chat with you guys soon. Bye for now.